Right, so in today's video, we are going to be taking at the funniest and most controversial bundle bundles ever on Reddit. So we're going to be taking a look at a couple of opening lines, pickup lines, um, people's profile reviews as well, some dating horror stories from Bumble, and more. So this video is going to be extremely relatable, funny, controversial to some, and even, well, cringeworthy at times. So let's go ahead and check it out. So let's check the first story out. Well, someone's forward. All right, okay. Who is your favorite music artist? Cool Ranch Doritos. You into, oh my, there is no way. You into pegging. What happened to hi, hello, how are you? Exactly, what happened to that? Hi, hello, how, okay, I see what he did there. Ha 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 ha. Aha, well, I mean, let's see what the comments say for this one. There's not much to say out here, but it is kind of funny, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, but a bit creepy as well. So let's check what the comments say. Well, are you? I'm gonna be honest. I've never heard of that term before and I'm afraid to look it up. Oh no, it's too bad in comparison to other kinks or positions, but it's definitely one some would find embarrassing. Don't look it up. You will not miss out. N not knowing. It's classic. Oh, okay. I, I don't think I want to say that. On the Blow that out. Okay. Sounds like a pain in the ass, literally. <laughs> ah. Let's check out the next one. Found my wife. Okay, okay. What's your dream vacation destination? I have been wanting to backpack Himalayas. Not sure if I will do anytime soon. More realistic would be Northern Lights from Alaska. But shouldn't you already be knowing this is about your soulmate? With us being married for such a long time, I don't want to start another fight right now. Oh wow, 15 years of marriage and I still can't figure out your love for frostbites in a scenic location. Clearly, we need marriage counseling, preferably a view of the Northern Lights. Okay, okay. I told you about my dream vacation when we met for the first time. You were so excited then, now in our 40s, how can you say this? We definitely need marriage counseling, I'm glad you brought it up. We could use one for our upcoming anniversary vacation to Alaska. I'm coming from the dentist, I am a little high with meds. How many kids do we have? Are we good parents? I'm so sorry, honestly, I've been a little busy juggling kids, work, aging parents, and the occasional ex existential, cr also, existential crisis. Nothing too, nothing too crazy. I miss being 29 when my biggest worry was keeping up with fun banter with my favorite Bumble Mash. Hey, let's go. Let's go. Favorite Bumble Mash. Anyways, how many kids? I'm guessing three. Unless you've adopted a few more while you're high on meds as being good parents, well, we haven't lost any yet. So I'd say we're doing all right. Thank you. I appreciate everything you do for our family. But why do you bring? Why do you, you bring about some random crush from more than 15 years ago? Are you trying to make me jealous? I'm not good enough for you anymore. Okay, okay. I hope I didn't adopt anyone when I was high. We already have too many in our hands. Do we have any favorites in them? I know you're gorgeous, but what made us have three kids? Any plans? Oh, <laughs> any plans for more? Okay, this guy's going straight for the kill. Oh, honey, you're too cute. Th that favorite Bumble match from 15 years ago is actually you. I've just been feeling nostalgic about our early dating days. If you did adopt anyone, I hope they came with a manual. As for favorites, I think it changes depending on who's behaving the best that day. Thanks, babe. I, I think... I thought you were in Seattle, but don't see you in the profile. What are you trying to hide from me from about the locations after so many years? Well, I wasn't sure about having kids and instead wanted to have early retirement and travel the world with you, but you know how persuasive you can be when it comes to kids and you're, we are realizing that parenting is a real adventure. Okay. I feel like this is going on for quite a long time. Can you repeat the number? Oops, like you left to wait for our first day. Redo to get my number, gotta earn it. Okay. With the ES of currently, how do we verify when our bots? You still got the charm for winning things like Okay, so this guy definitely did a very, very good riz, you know? I, I should pick up a couple of things from him maybe. I love how you two eat match each other's energy. RIP that dude earlier that got invested on Chad and got dumped on his first date. Giggling and kicking my feet over two complete strangers lol this is Already a real life rom com. Okay. Anyways, moving on. Did I blunder? Well, let me tell you that. Hey, would you like to grab a bite nearby sometime if you're comfortable? Sure. The hell? Didn't know it was so easy to ask a cute girl out. 
Uh, yeah, that is probably the worst you think you could have possibly said. <laughs> dude, like, how did you, how did you fumble this up, dude? Come on. Oh my god, dude, I'm not fumbling that bad. And that's saying something, okay? So, <laughs> oh my god, who doesn't appreciate a good meme, especially with such a cute, cute cat, lol. L let me tell you, a cute girl. Alright, bro, come on, dude. <sighs> I'm uploading this because I think it's a joke. Please be a joke. God, oh, I wish I could be in that position and just cancel what you've done right now, okay? Oh my god. Okay, but Farmer95, you really messed this one up, huh? Big fumble. Ooh, we got a story. Terrible first date. Oh my god, let's check it out. Advice. I went on a first date last night with a 35-year-old female. She works in healthcare and had an issue at work with a sick patient, which caused her to be 40 minutes late. When she arrived, she was very apologetic about the situation and offered to pay for drinks. We started talking, but she was completely distracted by her phone. I tried to be a gentleman and understanding about the situation. He stated that it was her co-workers reaching out about her patient and that she was also letting them know she was safe. We played pool and had a few drinks. The date went on for two and a half hours. It seemed like uh, you know, any time I would turn my head or get up to play, she would immediately be back on the phone or watch. She was very engaged, the conversation flowed, but she only really cared to talk about herself. She also mentioned her ex several times. Oh. And how much she loved the state they previously lived in. It's taken a long time for me to put myself out there and start dating again. Is this a new normal? Should I even message her thanking her for the opportunity? Yo, whoa, 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 whoa. It seems pretty disrespectful to be so late and distracted the whole time. I'd like to know what I could do better next time. Any advice would be appreciated. Thanks. But let me give you a piece of advice. Bring a pen and paper out. If in doubt, kick it out. If in doubt, kick it out. If in doubt, kick it out, dude. The immigration policy from the great W2S. Kick it out. So, um, I, I, I guess I gotta agree that, you know, doctors and nurses take care of people who die. Sounds like she had a tough shit shift. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. I didn't mean to say tough shit. <laughs> oh, that's funny. She's human and it is hard to transition to small talk when someone dies or takes a bad turn. She may still be independently selfish and shitty, but I would to have some grace here. I agree with this. Well, I personally, right, don't agree with this. If there was a bad time, just communicate. I just, you know, send a text. Today they had a bad day at work, someone died. Can we reschedule to another day? Maybe um, like that would be something like that would be good, you know? The retired llama, bro. Move on. Alright, can't even take out the trash. Let's check this one out. I'm curious. Single mom to two boys. Okay. Baby's father still lives with me because he just won't relocate. Okay. Trust me, I don't want that like having a third child and super disrespectful. Can't even take out the trash. I'm not even joking, but looking to meet someone long term with respect. Won't tolerate abuse. Listen, man. I wouldn't like okay no shame no shame but this sounds like a first date who's gonna be someone who's just gonna be ranting about the person never moving out of their life or the, the the baby father just gonna be you know hanging around yeah i i just probably not even go on this first date to be honest not to be a dickhead but game's a game all right take my trash my profile i can take it profile review i actually can't I'm, I'm sensitive be gentle well too late let's check it out bailey 26 okay first you got cake bro you got cake cake all right <laughs> i think he knows that he's doing out here but to be fair it's funny just a silly guy looking for a silly gal fair enough if your first message is creative i might just propose at this point six two very cool active amazing Undergraduate agree. Rarely drinks. Okay. No smoking. That's good. Man. Cool. Wants kids. Nice. Don't have kids. Okay. Uh, Aquarius. Uh, is that one of the star signs? I'm not too sure about that. Moderate income. Okay. Christian. Cool. I'm looking for a long-term relationship. Humor, optimism, playfulness. His interests are crafts, gym, camping, reading. Very nice. 
if I cooked you dinner, it would be terrible and you'd probably never want to see me again, but I'm working on it, so there's hope. Okay, he, he's, he's handsome. Donnie, I'd say. He, he's a he's pretty good looking guy, dude. Although, that I would, I would maybe try a different hairstyle out there. But he's a good looking dude. I, I, I see it. Damn. Yeesh. The, qu the quickest way to my heart is straight through the chest, I assume. But I'd be very disappointed in you if I tried to get, if you tried getting it without my consent. <laughs> okay, I see, I see what he did there. Yeah, he, he, he's wham as well. He's pretty jacked, pretty, pretty swole. So that's very cool. After work, you can find me. I mean, you can try, you can try to find me, but I've literally, literally, sorry, I can't read. Never lost hide and seek. Okay, I like the uh, image audio. Is it supposed to be like a Trojan, Trojan horse sort of thing? I'm not too sure what's happening out here, but um, cool. I like it. Very nice. Okay, after work you can find me. I mean, you can never try to find me, but I've literally never lost hide and seek. Okay, another, another, you know, quick joke. Very cool. He's ripped out here as well, by the way. He's pretty, all his friends are pretty jacked. Damn. Holy shit. Holy moly. Pumpkin roly. I don't know why I said that. Shut up. But yeah, he's pretty warm, dude. Like, holy shit. That's, that's more than even I would do. And that's saying something, because I'm pretty jacked as well. Anyways, <clears throat> let's see what people had to say, okay? I'd give, from, from a scale of 1 to 10, I'd give this profile a solid 7 out of 10. Okay, no 7, so 6.5 out of 10. Reason being, it's too quirky in some areas. Maybe you could like kind of be serious in one or two areas, I'd say. But I, I get what he's going for, I get what he's going for, okay? Although this pig, bro, he's packing cake. Anyways, let's check what the comments say. Get rid of the marriage comment at the start. It can be off-putting to women to hear about proposals. Also, I see you getting some grief about your deadlift photos. Quite obvious you work out. I think it's redundant to have that in there. Women are getting burnt out on the gym rat persona. Otherwise, I think it's not bad. Okay, that's fair. You're a handsome man and any lady would be lucky to marry you and I refuse to believe differently. I like this guy lol. You know, I like him. He's pretty, he's pretty, he's pretty chill guy. Oh my god, I'm a dude and I love you. <laughs> Fair enough. Then leave the gym photo and the bowels are supposed to be about attracting the one, not everyone. Oh, dude, that's a good quote. It's a combo of the deadly photo, the photo of your ass, a shirtless pig that screams this dude is a narcissistic nightmare. <laughs> uh, they can tell you, oh god, no need to pound them over the head with it. You will already know it's important to you. I mean, that's fair, I guess, but let's see what he has to say. I disagree. Okay, so he's a guy who was a fat person who became pretty shredded. Fair enough. I was in the same position. I did the same. So yeah, me, you know, I'm upping it to an 8. Okay, he gets an 8. There you go. Boom. 45 and going on Bumble for the first time. Profile review. Okay. Okay. Ooh. Let's see what the hobbies are. Nice. Who is that, your mom? That's a mom, right? For sure. Surely that must be a mom. Okay. Very nice. Ooh. <laughs> His profile, I'd give a 6 out of 10. Reason being, I'm a guy, okay? I see the guy side of a perspective of a profile. I don't know how... Okay, I'm, I'm digging myself a hole here so badly right now, but... I'd give it a 6 out of 10 as a profile. As a profile. As a profile. Okay, she seems like a lovely lady though. Alright, let's, let's go on. Let's just move on. I don't know what to do. Advice time. I'm very very stressed and dealing with a lot of pressure. I am a 24 year old female math with this man less about two weeks ago. At first he seemed sweet, caring, moral, mature and showed genuine interest in me as a person. Okay. But around the weekend he started getting more demanding and overwhelming. Oh. Sometimes I'll take a whole day to respond back to him and if it offends him. Despite me already having told him that I get busy. He'll tell me not to talk to him anymore. If that continues, he'll have to put an end to the conversation. 
because he wants a girlfriend who will truly love him and that I don't care about him. He says it makes him angry because he really likes me and he wants to start a family with me. Okay? He's saying these things to me after a couple of weeks. Oh shit, that's actually pretty bad. That's pretty bad. Um, including wanting to live together and wanting... And him wanting to meet my parents. We haven't even met yet. Oh my god, he... I genuinely don't know what to do and he recently asked how many babies I'm gonna give him. Oh my... I know I have to block him, but I'm genuinely scared to men like this can be violent. Okay, this guy is actually crazy. He is mad. Okay, so you gotta block him. You gotta, you know, put him on the FBI list. You gotta call security. You gotta call the police. You gotta make sure there's a restraining order. Dude, you gotta do all of that, okay? The babies is outrageous. Moving in is even more outrageous. Marriage part is crazy. Okay, so you gotta block him on every single social media platform. Hopefully, you didn't give your number. If you gave your number, change your number as well. Go nuts. You gotta protect yourself. Leave the city you're living in. I'm kidding. Don't leave a city, but I think this is this is good enough. This guy is a definition of a walking red flag, in my opinion. I get busy. He'll tell not to talk to me anymore. And if that continues, he'll have to put an end to the conversation. That's red pill shit. Trust me when I say this, okay? I'm in college, okay? I see a bunch of people do this all the time. Every single time, okay? So, yeah. I'd just probably just block him and make sure he's never around you, ever. Old is brutal. Okay, general. As a conventionally attractive female, I find that online dating is quite harsh. I was just chatting with a man and the combo was going really well and just poof. Just like that he unmatched as I was writing that I was sorry he went through the bad experience he had. I should be used to it by now. I've been on the app since March but dang it is anyone looking for something real anymore. Seems like we're all in this hell all together. Yeah. Womp womp. Anyways moving on. New message. Okay. Apparently if you reach a certain level of popularity this message changes. Instead of telling me telling you to improve your profile. It just tells you to keep looking pretty. I feel like I just found Yoshi in top of the Mario 64 castle. Like you when people are into you, they'll appear you enjoy looking at you walking the room. That's everyone who liked you for now since you're a catch. More like should be arriving soon. That's crazy by the way. <laughs> I think the ego boost some people don't even need at, at a point. It kind of has high expectations. Okay, let's let's see how high they are. You went to Service Academy, USMA, U USMA, USNA, USA, FA, USMMA, college, ROTC, mentally, physically, financially strong. You got airplane, 35 feet plus, boat, golf club, membership plus. Yeah, I wouldn't even, yeah, just, no, like, what is, pipe left. Get her out of here. Get out. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Let's see what the comment says. Looking, looking for a 35 foot blue eyed boat <laughs> with a trust fund. That's crazy. That's actually funny. Five dollars says she hasn't done a single one of those things herself. It's always a broken, indebted ladies who are the ones who insist you must be wealthy to date them. For the streets! Give her some credit. She's not specific about eye color. I don't think anyone qualifies. Nobody saying who got both of the money would be entering a US military academy. That is true. That is true. And that being said, guys, comment down below which story, which profile review. But did you think I was being too harsh for the pro profile review? Comment down below which one resonated with you the most or which one you found the most outrageously funny. Comment down below. Leave a like. Subscribe to the channel. And uh, make sure you guys watch the next video. I'll see you guys soon. Check out this next video right now.